This week I have one of my test maps that I would like to show you. Uh, so let me go ahead and unpause the map and I'm going to go ahead and build a few things and then I will explain what's going on while these things are building. That should be enough to start with. Okay, so um, I've already built out my infrastructure here um, on this map. I've got a number of collectors and you can see reactors here. Uh, so I've got, uh, got a lot of energy going and I've built a, a line of relays across the bottom and I'm building a new unit that you've not seen yet called the sniper. Its sole purpose is to shoot uh, these runners and on this particular map what's going on is I have four different runner nests just the, just the tiniest amount of creeper hanging out around them and each of these runner nests uh, spawns runners of a different type. The one on the bottom is spawning these very small but fast moving and low health runners uh, and as I move up the screen here, this, this one, the, the one above it, the, the runners move a little bit slower but have a little more health. And then all the way at the top here are these, are these great big runners that, that take several shots from a sniper before they're destroyed. And they move very slowly. So these snipers, you, you can see them operating now. What they, what they do is uh, they have a healthy range and uh, when a runner gets in, in range, they, they shoot. Now they're not the cheapest unit to operate. They, they, they consume a healthy amount of ammunition per shot, but they can keep runners at bay. They can keep them pushed away. Now, what I've decided to do on this map is rather than attack this Digitalis head on and drive in with pulse cannons and mortars and strafers is um, I'm going to be very careful about what I do. And, I'm going to try to advance with, with just snipers and getting close enough to take out these nests. So that's why I built this big bank here and a, low, and a line of relays across the bottom. So let's go ahead and move a few in. In fact, I'm going to get pretty aggressive here and see if I can get away by moving a whole bunch of them in. Now you notice that the um, the runners, whenever they get within range of a unit, they they fire a stun weapon at it, and that stun effectively takes that structure offline. It, it prevents it from forming network connections. Uh, that can have an immediate effect, or it can have a delayed effect, or both. Um, uh, but it can be very harmful to a network which is why I've moved these snipers in in order to protect this, this set of relays at the bottom. Now I've got a feeling I'm going to need even more of these over time, so I'm going to build out a few more. And see if I can go ahead and sneak forward here just a few more. I'm attacking across the bottom first because these are the weakest runners that are being spawned down here. Single shots destroy them, so it's uh, it's it's a little bit uh, easier to get down here than it would be to attack across the top where we have to take out these slower moving runners where it takes more shots per runner to destroy them. Okay, things are things are moving well. Okay, I believe I'm going to get him without much issue. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plan to advance forward here. up. Ok, 
Okay, one nest down. Now, that of course left a power zone, but um, I'm not even going to mess around with those power zones right now. I'm just going to push forward. up some of these uh, rear guys. I, the reason I'm keeping these snipers to the right um, is sometimes these runners can sneak around the top up here and then and then come down the right side and um, all it takes is one or two to get through and they can cut off your network and um, it cause problems. So I'm um, going to try to sneak up on these guys very methodically and move forward. I think we've got this guy covered here, so let's go ahead and uh, that looks good right there. Do some nullification. I tend to uh, like to build redundant relay connections as well. That way, if uh, somebody sneaks in and gets a shot and takes a relay offline, they're there might be a backup path that packets can take. I'll, I'll still lose packets that were that were en route on any path that gets cut, of course, but uh, new packets can, um, can still get dispatched. And uh, you know, for efficiency players, you probably noticed that uh, there's probably something I could do here which would improve pathing, which would be uh, build relays up to this set of relays here because I've got a bottleneck uh, of, of packets here. This will increase the uh, speed of delivery to the front lines. So that's something I should have done earlier in the game, actually. Okay. Let's push on. enough snipers in range, uh, I'm able to destroy the, the runners very shortly after they are emitted, uh, which effectively um, caps off that nest. Now by the way, this, um, this sniper unit, it's, um, I haven't determined whether it's going to stay in the game or not. It's, uh, it's mostly an experimental weapon right now and uh, it was designed to explore dynamics of, uh, of weapon damage and runners and um, uh, and to just sort of get a feel for, uh, for what works and what doesn't work. Um, it's not, I'm not entirely sure it's necessary to have in the game. Uh, it, it may be, it may not be, it's, uh, it's, it's still up in the air so, um, so we'll see. Final nullifier. I think he's. This top uh, nest is totally capped now. Uh, Alright, let's just accelerate time. have it. Uh, that was just another test mission. Hope you enjoyed watching.